how do we preserve our pool space? So you're talking about deadly, but you've never, you've never been a deadly. If I was applying for that position, if the question asks you about the court, how are you going to, what, what it means, right? You answered that in the next question. What's the greatest challenge, challenge confronting the court for which you're applying? And you say the greatest challenge confronting Dudley is its case law. How do you know what the case law is? I assume that every that district court is just overwhelmed with cases. And that's my experience. <coughs> that is a nice quote. I'm sorry? It's a nice court. <coughs> Have you ever gone there before you? Yeah. So counsel, I've been in it. Yeah, so counsel, I've been in some sort for, for a while, and, and I, um, I'm sure I've been there. I can't tell you I've, I've been in court, I wouldn't say. Can I specifically say I've been in that court? I, okay. I don't see can't do it right. But sometimes when people get nominated for, or apply for the court, they go over to the court, put my impressions off to it, and get to know people in it a little bit because they got pain in the asses up here when you come to the council. Mm -hmm. We're going to ask you about that. Mm -hmm. All right? You can say, hey, I went down to Dudley and spoke to the clerk, spoke to this one and that one. Well, I won't, I won't keep going with you. I, I think there's a lot of, uh, I think the qualifications as a police officer are superb. Translating that into a clerk, uh, I think you're going to have some challenges. Hey, I didn't know you did that. I'm just kidding you on the statement that you made. You said, I came here asking for your blessings. I'm going to correct you. You came here asking for our votes. Correct. Thank you for your time. We spoke at length and uh, speak in such a nomination. And uh, I've, I've appreciated uh, reviewing your materials. A lot of the questions about the transition from your position and how unique it is for nomination clerk ministry have been asked and answered. Uh, kind of, you know, touched on one of the areas I was going to touch on, which was the civil side of things. Uh, it sounds like uh, you've done your homework since you felt com confident enough to put your application in. I will tell you that, you know, it is, it is the exception and not the norm in this chamber that we have nominees before us who either have all criminal law experience, whether they're going on the Superior Court, the Appeals Court, the District Court, the Court of Magistrate position, or they have all civil. And it is the exception that we would have somebody who comes from both sides of the aisle, if you will. Um, and I don't think that's something that this council has ever held against the nominee. Some of us, we have philosophical differences. What do we think is more important? I know uh, I share the sentiment with some of my colleagues that criminal law experience is, is more important to me philosophically. Uh, Council Trudeau touched upon the impact of the issuance of a criminal complaint on a young person, deprive them of their future, quite frankly, um, in this day and age. So uh, you know, I think that the, the civil stuff is something that you can learn, and there are a lot of resources out there for you to do that. But um, it is something I would encourage you to to study, continue studying because you know the limits of seventy five hundred dollars can mean a lot to a person, particularly where um, you know they may have paid a contractor to rip them off, and that seventy five hundred dollars is their mortgage payment for the next few months. So as far as the civil being life changing, I, mean, I concur with him on that. I have somebody who does civil and criminal. Uh, just one, uh, in reading your materials, I was struck by, uh, you know, your answer to what was the most rewarding part of your career, and I didn't want to not mention it. I was on page 75 of the JNC application, and I just want to refer to it uh, for the record. You were asked to uh, list <coughs> about moments in your career Seven years as a law enforcement official, and uh, he said, One of the proudest moments in my career as a police officer occurred on March 13, 1995, 
was finishing an overnight patrol shift for the town of Shrewsbury's police department. At approximately 7.20 a.m., I was dispatched to a house where a 12-day-old baby boy was not breathing. I drove as fast as I safely could to that house. I was the first officer to arrive. As I was exiting my cruiser, a woman who I later identified as the baby's mother came running out of the house screaming while holding a blue baby. She immediately ran at me and threw the baby into my arms. I recognized that the baby was choking and began life-saving measures. I was able to clear the baby's airway, begin rescue breaths. The baby started crying and it was evident he was going to be okay. And one of the things that you pointed out today is that you've enjoyed Break Your Career helping people. And I think that that story really captures uh, you know, your dedication to public service and serving your community. And I think the position of clerk manager presents a really incredible opportunity to change lives for the better and help people. So having said that, this hearing is over. Thank you.